my my wife was going through a period where she was like, well, I'm going to stop drinking coffee. And she was trying to quit cold turkey. And it got to be like three days. And like we were like arguing. And I said, hey, babe, I got to run somewhere. I'll be right back. I went and got her a Starbucks and brought it back to her. I was like, drink this, please. That's always our first. <laughs> Wow, we would have never believed this. We're on Spotify, we're on Apple, we're on Google. Go out there and listen to us. So we're excited about it. We're glad you're excited about it too. Hey, muscles matters because they do, right, Steve? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do I always have to sit next to Steve? Why can't I, I, I put you in there, Mike? I mean, you could. Yeah. But I love you. you guys are bigger than me. Yeah. Well, this is hard for me, but we talked about humility in our last segment of lunch break. So this is good for me. This yeah. is humility. I love my f friend Steve that he's still able to. This is, this is fun. I love this. being with you guys. You know, I, I, yeah. I, obviously our relationship goes way back, Tom. But yeah, I love I love the friendship that Steve and I are developing. Yeah. So on, on muscles matter to us today. We're going to talk about some matters that are probably going through your head. You know, we 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 have relationships, and uh, Steve and I have uh, formed a relationship because I do believe Steve is an expert on nutrition and some of the new things that are out in this world. How, how about instead of expert, let's say I, I, I kind of, you know, know he knows things. a lot. Know some things. He knows, <laughs> yeah. he knows some knows, things. I bumped into my head into a wall a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, that is a good thing. So <laughs> there again, we're not experts. We're not doctors, but we are, I think would be a good description of us as lab rats. Yes. There, there's only, yeah. there's yeah. only said, three people I'll listen to about stuff. And two of them are in this uh, room. I like that. TikTok so, shouldn't be your third. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, what a rabbit hole. Steve, where can they get some information from you on a daily basis? At? Well, you can find me at 7420 District Boulevard. The name of the store is Sportlander West. We're right across the street from Nestle's Ice Cream, District Boulevard. Hope to see you soon. Yeah. So, so we're here today. We're talking about some cool topics. And Mike started it off. So, Mike, get, throw, yeah. that, throw so, that question so, out. So, I was talking about caffeine. And coffee and uh, Steve, I don't know if you knew this, but I only I only started drinking coffee seven years ago. Never like I wouldn't say never had it, but I had it very rarely prior to that. And then when my second child, my daughter, was born, my my wife just saw how tired I was. Which you know, having kids like you don't sleep the whole first year, right? Um, but potentially more than that. I don't but, think you ever sleep, Mike, because when mine are twenty seven. <laughs> I still worry about them because of my 24 year old. But it's different when they're newborn, you yes, know? Yes. So, so she, she felt sorry for me. She's like, I know you got a business run. I know you got to go to work, have some coffee. And I was like, Ooh, this is good. Oh, it was amazing, huh? Yeah. And then it was like every day since then. So it's been the seven, past seven years has been every day. And there was a brief period, by the way, and I know you're going to slap me for this one, um, where she would just bring me a Red Bull to my bed and I would drink that before I even got out of bed. And then someone told me how bad that was. I stopped that. That's horrible. But no, it's been a at least a cup, which, you know, sometimes it gets to be like a Trenta Starbucks or two in a day. But usually it's like a cup or two of coffee at least. If you if you have a cup or two, Mike, you have to confess that you're not telling the truth because I've seen you drink a couple Trentas a day. <laughs> but, but see, Starbucks is not coffee. It's not as powerful as some. Yeah, but they don't, they're don't. they not viewed the same. There's just no? plain old coffee, and then there's Starbucks. How I so? Mean, because if you asked a person if they had coffee and they got a vente malate or whatever the super duper <laughs> drink in their hand is, they'll look at you and say, no, I don't drink coffee. Huh. They're, they're I consider different. it coffee. They're it's two different caffeine. entities. It's the same thing. It, it's more... Um, uh, All comes from the beans. It's cream, and it's... Um, their classic is sugar. Have you ever seen how much sugar? I was going to say, yeah, how much sugar so you're trying to say it's worse for it's, you, it's, which it is. Now, we're not bashing Starbucks because, yeah, we're not bashing Starbucks. We're just using them as an but, illustration. But Do you remember when they made that rainbow unicorn thing and they <laughs> were the special? Yes. Yeah. And uh, I remember going to the drive-thru because she asked me to get her one and I got her one and I was read the, the counter on how much sugar was in there along with the caffeine. I was like, oh my God. But well, Steve, well, do you drink coffee? Instant diabetes. Do you drink coffee? My, uh... Well, we'll get, in, get into this because there's things that you can do that I think... I, I, I never drank coffee until I came in the ministry. Coffee, caffeine is considered Christian crank. You know, that, that, that's what caffeine is. I remember I was with Pastor Jim Cruz. And, uh, you know, we got a coffee because Jim loves coffee. And we did. I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Because when I was younger, I was using other stimulants, Steve. 
that were a lot better than <laughs> caffeine. Yes, that's why I don't drink coffee. <laughs> yeah. So, so I was using uh, using other stimulants that um, helped me in my profession that just avoided me from having to. Uh, I I never had a deficit of. Um, um, I, I never had a lack of supplements to help keep me awake. Yeah. I personally never like coffee because every time I drink coffee, it makes me hit the brown note. Uh, I've never yeah, heard that. I've never. But, but most of the time, I, not always. Tom's going to correct me in a second. That's why I'm clarifying. Not always. But most of the time, if I'm going to have coffee, it's like I drink it at home. If I drink it at home, I'll drink it black. If I drink it at Starbucks, I try to, especially more recently. I'm, I'm being very careful because Tom's going to jump all over me. Um, I try to drink like an oat milk latte, which is coffee and oat milk. Right. If you can figure out how to kick coffee, let me know. I'll co-write the book with you. I think I could do it. And we'll be rich. I think I could well, well, you know, Mike, th this is something that I agree with Steve, and um, I usually do agree with Steve, um, is the fact that if you get something, wherever you get it, if you get it at any favorite coffee shop, they're usually sweetener already put in it because it's a brand of coffee. So if you yeah. get, you know, uh, their, their signature latte or espresso, there's going to be signature. Because if you ask them, to put in sugar-free syrup, they'll say, do you want the classic, which is sugar. Yeah, that's because, something. Okay. Because that is already added in there. So I would always, I will tell them, hold the don't classic, just give me the sugar-free. And so, so because they're selling for taste, which is yeah. their market. And, 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 and the caffeine really is a, um, a supplement. But, <laughs> but, but, but so they're already putting sugar and flavoring in it for you. The, the other thing about coffee, though, and this is actually for me why it's harder, um, is not because of the caffeine, because I, I could probably stop drinking coffee. It's actually for me, it's because with, especially with Starbucks, it's more of a social thing. It's like, because, you know, especially if you don't drink a lot. Um, Mike, I think if you started to try to eliminate caffeine, you'd realize that caffeine plays a bigger part in your life. I'm not going to have a coffee tomorrow. <laughs> we'll you, see. You, well, I, I would say, don't do that just to spite me. Yeah, do, I'm with, no, I'm no, with no. Tom on that one. Dad. You would do that just to spite me. And uh, so, so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there because I, I, I was drinking way too much caffeine uh, during the pandemic. Yeah. You know, I was drinking way too much and I had to back off. Now, caffeine did not help did not cause my heart problem my anabolic steroid use helped cause my problem because it hardened my arteries that now made my veins and my arteries and my valve not as pliable as they should have been but the caffeine exploited the issue so i had to start reducing it and i tried to go three weeks cold turkey without it and mm -hmm. i'm telling you the symptoms that i experienced were so unpleasant I called my doctor and I fortunately have his cell number and he's a GP and a specialist at Cedar sinai And he told me, Tom, you need to go drink a cup of coffee right now. He goes, I don't care if it's black or what, but he goes, you, <laughs> you don't get caffeine cold Turkey. And that's my Cedar sinai GP. So, well, what, you know, what's funny is my wife and she, she's worked at Starbucks. Um, my, my wife, was going through a period where she was like, well, I'm going to stop drinking coffee. And she was trying to quit cold Turkey and it got to be like three days. And like, we were like arguing and I said, Hey babe, I got to run somewhere. I'll be right back. I went and got her a Starbucks and brought it back to her. I was like, drink this. Please. That's always our first. It's like, it's and like, then we were fine. My, my <laughs> wife and I, I'll look at her and go, Tiffany, have you had coffee today? She goes, what does that have to do with it? And it's funny because when she runs, we, we went to Costa Rica for a vacation a few years ago. She fell in love with this brand of coffee which is real coffee, and it is strong. I was going to say, it's got to have a different feel to it because that's, it, that's real. And so she gets it, she buys it on the internet, and it gets shipped, and um, she goes, I don't know what you used today. And I go, well, you ran out, so I used a pot. And she goes, well, that's why I need my Costa Rican coffee. Oh, so I could tell that it would, it, it would cause a, uh, I had to practice more conflict resolution if she didn't have her Costa Rican coffee. Yeah. Than if she did, so it just it's it's one of those things that people use it as however they use it. And I used uh, to try to write it out of people's plans. I really was bold, and I believed you could write it out because I wasn't a coffee drinker. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I got my caffeine from. So a, so in doing that, do you have any recommend? Like, did you say like cut cold turkey? Or you're just like oh, I thought, start I thought everybody was great. Right. Just stop. Out. Just do something else. Green tea. I was like, do yeah. green tea. It's got caffeine. So, so I think caffeine. what I'm going to do is for the next two weeks, I'm going to go to one cup a day 
and then I'm going to go to every other day. How many cups do you currently drink? Multiple. Okay, don't go to one. Okay. Yeah, there's a formula, Mike, you could go to. Really? Yeah, which is going to segue, segue me into something else. Because um, as, as I do believe, and I practice what I preach, I do believe sending people to Steve to get good direction on oh, absolutely. some new things. So I've talked to Steve about trying something new, which is called peptides. And Steve has uh, uh, gone along with me and humored me in this. And he's working with me on dosages. And, um, and so I've started the um, peptides with the nasal inhaler. And I started to realize, like I told you the other day, that it had an effect on me. So I actually pulled back on my caffeine, which it has helped me do, Steve. And now I'm a lab rat. I am a lab rat. I've all, that's all I've ever been is a lab rat when it comes to sports, nutrition, and PEDs. So I can tell you how they work on me as a lifestyle thing. So what I've been able to do is I've been able to draw back on my caffeine and I have switched today to green tea for my mid-afternoon caffeine fix. So I told my wife today, she's in on it with me because I don't want her to deal with the other Tom. Because <laughs> she did when I had a heart issue. Yes. She, she was so glad my doctor said, Tom, drink some coffee. And you know, and he was good because I am on a heart medication that slows my heart down. He goes, Tom, I think that medication can handle this coffee and I think you're better with that, which thank you. Um, and uh, so, so, I, so Steve, I've been able to do that, which is very interesting. It's, I, you know, I, I was, I've been able to, and I'm not say, recommending you do this. I'm just saying what it's done to me as a lab rat. I've been able to reduce my caffeine consumption and switch over my mid-morning, my noon consumption to green tea. Well, the one you're on is a natural occurring. It naturally happens in the body, and it's just stimulating what na naturally happens in the body. Mm -hmm. Because I'm older and my whatever's happening naturally is gone. It's, quit happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. That's why I'm looking at a supplement. So it, it's um. So what you're doing is you're getting that. You can go nerd on us. That's okay. Useful, useful energy back. So you're it's regressing the time clock. It's making your body revert back. You you should start noticing the skin gets tighter. You should start noting you're resting better. You should start noticing all these small things where you're like, I have Steve. We're, and like you said, you're naturally energized now where before you were having to get artificially energized. Mm -hmm. So midday, you'd have the midday drop, um, which we, after 45, that just walks around the corner and taps you on the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, hey, guess what? Nap time. Yeah. <laughs> or you, you're not experiencing that anymore because now the body is regressing and it's gone from decelerating to reaccelerating. So um, it's now rebuilding muscle cells versus destroying muscle cells and not not interested in rebuilding them. So you're getting a rejuvenation effect. So that is why like the afternoon coffee is kind of is not as important. And you can yeah. get away with the green tea, which is an antioxidant. And it does all these other wonderful things as well. Yeah. And it's just yeah, I'm trying to take that slide into something better. I'm not afraid. I mean, there again, I, I'm not afraid of uh, trying things that are edgy. And, and if you're you know negative on me out there that you hate me, but uh, listen to me because I think there's more like me out there than are not. Yeah. And I think the industry shows that because people are willing to die in our industry now, well, which is you, terrible. Well, you got to think about it. What, the stuff that we took instead of this originated from cadavers. Yes. Well, but, you know, I, I, I did in the early um, 80s take a rhesus monkey growth hormone. Oh. Yeah, cause, uh, because of rhesus monkeys, I think that's how you pronounce it. Rhesus? Rhesus monkeys, yeah. There was, there was a lot of them, and it was easier to grab their growth hormone than it was human growth hormone because I did walk, I did train when the dinosaurs walked the earth, and uh, <laughs> the first growth hormone that I did use was Chris Corman, which was taken from human cadavers, which then was switched to synthetic. And I can tell you the day or the year that it was switched was 1985, because I was sitting in a hotel room in Miami, Florida after the 85 nationals. It's amazing a, that everything's in Florida. I had a terrible uh, showing there. And if Joe Weed was still alive, he and I've had this conversation many a times. Uh, but 
my I, I called my drug guy, and I say drug guy, Jeff Feliciano, Dan Duchesne. They're both dead now, and uh, but they were Dan was known as a. But they wrote books. Yeah, they did. They wrote books. They, they, Dan was known as a steroid guru, and, and they were legitimized after they got out of prison. <laughs> it was interesting. The muscle fitness and flex. He, you guys put them on the magazines, not me. They just did my drugs. But 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 I called them. They said, don't worry, Tom, because the synthetics already hit the uh, black market, and we'll take care of you. And, and so, so I'm just saying, like you said, Steve, I mean, there are things that are out there, and there's ways to jump into this stuff. But I'm glad that you helped me through this in my head because that's what I know you're able to do with other people is help me through it because I have been able to lessen my caffeine intake and start to slide into something that has a, a more of a healthy value in the green tea. Especially with you wanting to touch weekly, I believe you said, uh, heavier weights. Well, it's funny because I have, and I've told my wife this and, um, and, and so there's things that I'm starting to see, Steve, that are indicative of me knowing me that I'm starting to see it come around. So, I mean, I, I'm a believer. I am. Well, I, I know, I think it sounds like you and I are probably taking similar stuff. Yes. Um, and um, I have seen the same. And there was a time period um, a month or two ago where I was just going through a period where I was so busy, like everything went out the window. And um, I definitely noticed just from that, like more energy, um, mental fog, um, is kind of not there anymore. And you probably weren't as stressed as much. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Um, all, all of those things and, and, uh, just feel younger. Yeah. You know? Well, we're going to give Steve a chance to comment on this, whatever he would like to say on air, or you can call him at the shop or talk to him because I do recommend Steve as somebody that you would probably want to add to your arsenal with uh, training <laughs> or that. Yeah, so go ahead and maybe touch on some of the stuff that you found. We try to stay a little more cutting edge uh, at a, in our location. And it's just because I know that so much things are out there. Are, People are going to do it and uh, do worse. And, and it, it's, I'm, I'm, it's not even about the do worse. It's just about knowing what's next. Yes. I, I, I like try to know what's next and what's the next thing and the best thing and what's going to work the best for you. And the best thing for me is that I got sick and I got old. That's the best thing that happened to me. I learned more about fitness. I've told you this many times yes. after I got out of the industry yes. and started to realize I was all artificial. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's amazing what I like what the things and I'm going to sound braggadorious, but the things I know now versus when I was knee deep <coughs> in it and, because it's easier when you're able just to go to the needle. Y yes, it's it is. It's easy when you go to the pill. Yes. I, it, it doesn't cause you to have to think as much. No. Just or research. Up, just up the dosage. It yeah. works. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and it just had to learn to be smarter because the body does all these, the body doesn't have to, we're in the age, the baby boomers brought us into the age where nobody wants to age gracefully. And there's <laughs> no reason to age gracefully. You should be able to age how you want to, because there are so many things yeah. out there that allow you to still continue to be active, to still be moving around. Um, you, I mean, look at, look at, for back a better usage, it's Schwarzenegger, it's Stallone. Yeah. These guys are still active in their mid 70s, late 70s. Well, it's, it's crazy because Arnold's had the mitral valve um, replace a couple of times. I think Kurt, Kurt would probably be able to give us some information about well, how that I, works. I've had stem cell. And yes. I've told people my stem cell journey. I am so glad I had that because I'm able to lift heavier now because I can go down to parallel on my knees, which there were things I did to myself that I couldn't. And stem some of the cell. things and in, in, uh, the, the products we have, we actually have a version of what I call the poor man stem cell, but it once again, it's from your body. It, yeah. Everything it does, it's everything in these 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 ingredients are from inside. They're just making your body work optimally. Yeah, it just you know it goes back to like um, you know we just got through the COVID thing. Everybody was taking zinc, D, C, taking the the, the supplements that we need in our system that we probably don't get through nutrition anymore in an abundance. So it's there to fight off the virus. You know, we're told allegedly that will, 
<laughs> into our system. I will keep my smart remark for myself because we might get kicked off the air. <laughs> but my dog takes it. <laughs> All right. So, so can we talk about the the blood type diets now? <sighs> blood type dieting. Um, it is probably. I'm going to look into the camera. Blood type dieting. A lot of people don't realize that we are allergic to food. Amen. Believe it or not, the foods that you eat, you're actually allergic to. Once again, these are things I found out. I had to get sick to figure this out. And when I got sick is I figured it out and started understanding blood type dieting. It's something I knew. And it's something that I yeah. wrote for people, but I never practice it. It's be, an be, ugly thing. Because you were able to do other things and it yes. worked. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. as I got sick, I got better understanding. Like with you, yeah. you're an A. Yeah. You're not supposed to. If you're an A. That's like the worst blood type of what I've learned too. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're, you know, um, you have a I higher. I can eat plants and that's about it. <laughs> you, you have, you have, a, you, you have a, a higher chance of catching almost everything out there. I mean, it's a sad thing to say that the A is the weaker link in the genetic code. Um, So you're not able to eat red meat. Yeah. Which, you know, I used to say all the time. That's miserable. I'm never going to give up red meat. Then my kidney went, hey, guess what you are? And I went, oh, yeah, you know what? I am giving up red meat. I don't like the way that feels. (laughs) Yeah, well, but you know what? It's crazy because I talked to you earlier about the, you know, we went on date night to a restaurant. We had red meat, Mm -hmm. quite a bit of it. And, I saw him um, the day after, and he was not doing oh, well. Oh, it was it was delicious, and I, I was miserable, and I felt horrible, and I was in a funk, and just mental, like I was tired. I was honestly, I will say this: it was like I had a hangover. It is, I don't, yeah, like a hangover, but think of it more like I tell people I, I use different terminologies. It's like a race car. Yeah, that thing is running on a high octane. You can take it to Arco. Yeah. And it's still going to run, but when it's used to running on that high stuff, and then you put that in there, it's going to knock, it's going to ping. You're going to be, you're going to go to your mechanic, which i.e. is your doctor, and yeah. you're going to try to figure out what's wrong with your car. They're going to run you up a giant bill. And at the end of the day, it's just you shouldn't be eating the things you're eating, and, putting the wrong fuel in the gas. But, yes. but you, you know, it's cra- and you say that well, that's the weaker link or whatever. I'm healthier than most people. Yes. I don't hardly ever get well, sick. Well, and, and I, the reason I, I did quotation is because when you read it, that's what it says in the books. Right. And it's not the truth. It's, I mean, there's it's a million books. It's not 100% true. Yes. Like, there's a million people with O that are sick. But, the, a, but then my wife, and she's not like, she doesn't have a chronic illness or anything like that, but she definitely is more susceptible. Like, she catches everything the kids catch. And I'm like, I, like one, one in like five I get. You know, you know, it's all perspective too, isn't it, Steve? Yes. You know, I mean, you know, I, and I think as you're out there, you know, some of the times you just got to go out there and figure it out. But sometimes you got to go to somebody who's maybe got a little more head start yeah. on you. And I think that in this industry of fitness and nutrition, there's uh, uh, there's, new, there's knowledge out there that that as you gain it. You know, but you you know what what I love what you do, Steve, and I'll keep bragging on you about that because people do accuse me of that, and I do because I believe in people and I do believe in what they offer because you offer more than that because people used to um, say that all we are is the drugs we took, which is a bunch of boohooky because if you don't have genetics and if you don't have the work ethics, you don't have the right um, muscle makeup, you're never going to go s- far in certain sports. But do PEDs help you? Yes, they do. So when you put nutrition, training, supplements together in the right order and you get the most out of them, you are going to excel more. Well, they're called enhancements. Yes. So they're enhancing something. Yes. And yeah. the better you treat an enhancement, the more you will be enhanced. Yeah. So uh, the young man you sent by the other day, yeah. uh, we were talking about food, and I said you're going to be a professional eater, not a professional lifter. And he looked <laughs> yes, at me. I go, oh, I said, <laughs> I said you have to be a professional eater because, and I, you know, I use the term the way I describe it as a brick wall. Uh-huh. Um, you can stack all the bricks in the world, but if you don't put cement on, they're just going to fall down. Yes. And a lot of people out there, and if you feel this way. Um, you get burnt out about going to the gym. You stop going to the gym. You don't see the progress you want. And it generally has to do with your nutrition because you're not putting Amen, I agree. C- the nutrition is the cement for the building blocks. So if you're not putting cement down to make your bricks stay, they just keep falling down. And like I told the young man, I said, could you imagine building a wall every day? You build it up 10 feet high and you walk in and it's knocked down the next day. Yeah. 
You go do it again, you do it again, you do it again. Sooner or later, you're going to start losing steam behind it. And sooner or later, you're just going to go, bah, I don't want to do it no more. Is it that way you hear, Steve, when people put the one, like you said, brick together, which is working out? And they don't put the other to br- the the cement together. They keep restarting the workout program over and over again, right? I, that I, was the I, right part. The thing you forgot was I love your analogy, Steve. You forgot the mortar. Yes, if there's no nutrition, you can't build. Yeah, I love that, Steve. I yeah. That. There again, that's why I tell you to go to see Steve at Sportslanders West. So, so where did, where did the blood type diet come from? Honestly, I started looking into it. Um, when I was a personal trainer yeah, and uh, I moved into the management side and I wanted to set my team apart from other teams. So I, I got deeper and I started diving deeper. And the first true testament to the blood type dieting uh, was, uh, he was an officer, uh, uh, TJ. And he could never get his abs. He's Steve, Steve, Steve. I can't get my abs. I can't get my abs. We sat down and we spent an hour talking about nutrition. And then we went over the nutrition, uh, the, the blood type dieting. And we went over it, went over it, and I, he goes, Steve, can I just take the book home with you? So I can, I said, yeah, take the book home. Uh, I forgot about the book. Three months later, he walked in, pulled his shirt up. He's completely ripped, and he goes, thank you, and he handed me my book back. <laughs> so that was the first true Good testament job, TJ. of the blood type dieting. It was the first true testament, and I mean, that he was in there. He would run every day. He'd do workouts yeah. every day. I mean, he was religious. He was diet, and I said, well, you probably have a food allergy, and we got to talking, oh, and he's yeah. like, you know, just kind of yeah. take the book home. See, Steve, you, what you're saying is so true because I was fortunate enough to have people that would invested a lot of money in me when I was competitive. And I got involved with a company called BioCell. And they sent out a, um, a um, uh, um, biochemist, drew my blood, and he goes, Tom, you're allergic to yellow vegetables. You can hmm. keep eating those, which I love corn, I love all that. He goes, but, but you're, they're causing inflammation in your body, which is bleeding over into your, your, you know, the, your skin, which is causing you to have a visual um, 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 deficiency when people look at you. And I, I never wanted to get kick, kick corn out of my diet because it was like a sweet thing I had. The minute I kicked corn out of my diet, you could visually see the difference it made. Of but, my but it's interesting on stage, because which was my finances. The, it's it's not just 100% read the book and go by the book, right? Because there's other things yes. that you're allergic to, yes. potentially that are okay now, for your diet. Once you go or down, like cut out sugar, like you told me, stuff like that, right? Once you go down the rabbit hole of uh, blood type dieting, then there comes blood type dieting according to ethnic ethnic. Um, ethnicity regions really yeah. yes so okay. it, it's going to come down to regions so if you grew up if you're an a from say asia versus an a from england your 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 classic uh caveman uh-huh. is what this is based on was the person in china was eating a different type of substance than the okay. person in england <laughs> yeah you're right even though they are still of a so different it, things it, grow in so the and that's regions, where yeah. it, you find out okay well this one works for him, but this one doesn't work for him, but we're the, still the same. Okay. So when you broad stripe it, it's just a broad stripe of things that the A is allergic to. Then when you, you narrow it, narrow it, narrow it, narrow it, it's a, it's a rabbit hole when you go down it. You, you know, I, 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 uh, I, I take this back and make it an analogy of um, dogs. Dogs have breedings. I don't care how much training you do, you're not going to train breeding out of a dog. Yeah. You know, you take a herding animal, Try to make them herd. They're gonna, they're gonna herd you, your cats. Your, I mean, I don't, I don't care where they're at. They're gonna herd. Yes. And you can not gonna you're you're not gonna get it out of them. I was going to get a uh, the boys. Um, I was going to get them a um, not a uh, little Aust- Australian collie, uh-huh, uh-huh. a border collie, and I wanted to get them one because I thought they were so cute, thought they were so smart, and uh, the person I was talking to goes, "Oh no, it'll bite your boys all day long." Yeah, they're gonna nip them to get them back in the herd. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna chase them around the exactly. house. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to be over there. Everybody stay together. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so as you're talking about this, I love what you're saying, Steve. Is you're talking about different A's in different regions. Yeah. Because that's where you have grown up, and it so much matters. You know what, guys? I mean, you know, we're, we're running down on the half hour. Let's come back next week and do another part you got of this. I, I, I like this doing kind of like a Ask Steve uh, <laughs> segments, you know? Well, well I, I, I think it's important because we want to bring you stuff that is important to you guys. Steve, you got the last comments. Throw it out there and we'll come back and uh, bring you more some of this stuff. We'll stick around with uh, blood type dieting. Um, on the way out the door, 
if you learn to clean up, you don't have to clean up the whole thing, but if you start doing blood type dieting, like the other day, I, I, I noticed I was picking weight back up and I was picking it back up in a hurry. And I told you I fell in love with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches again. Mm. Uh. I cut bread. And miraculously, I'm no longer swollen. <laughs> so, and it's just, it, it, you, once you figure things out, like you said, you went out to eat the other day and you felt yeah. like you start figuring things out. You don't have to give up everything, but you'll figure out the things that make you feel the worst. Yes. And that at the end of the day is, is worth whatever you're giving up. You know, Steve, I, th I think as we look at the camera and the audience and we all have this conversation is that it, it's for your benefit, your benefit to figure out you and you need help to sometimes figuring out you and you do want to be the best version of you and you don't want to just cut off your whole lifestyle. You got, you know, I mean, we're probably you know, all allergic to birthday cake, even though I love birthday cake. As an oh, I'm not supposed to eat chocolate. And uh, yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to, you're going to have to live and survive because you don't want others. Cause Steve, you and I've made our family miserable at certain parts of our life. Haven't we? <laughs> from, a, from the sports we've chosen, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, my, my family has horror stories. I, I told that to the young man you brought by, uh -huh. uh, you sent over. I, I, I looked at his, his wife and I said, uh, you guys should walk the dog for cardio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things I now know. It's, it's bonding. You guys are going to be quiet and you can hold hands. <laughs> yes, yes. Because you don't want to let the things you're doing alienate you from yes. your loved ones or your family or your devotion. So. Yeah. I love it, Mike. So, hey, we're out we there. A great time. Uh, and, hey, if you want to know more information on how to uh, get a hold of Steve, they can get a hold of you at 7420 District Boulevard, Sportlander West. Uh, we're right across the street from Nestle. Uh, we also have an IG page, TikTok page, yes. Sportlander West. It's real easy to find. Uh, this guy can dance. Unless you're, <laughs> unless you're shadow banned. This, well, yeah. you would know that I am. That's why you have to kind of like look for it twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I yeah. should be less opinionated. <laughs> yeah, but but that's why we love you, Steve. It so, is. Hey, you guys go out there. We're going to bring you more of this the next episode. So God bless. Like it. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Yep. Have a great day.